Hey, this is Eduard Stinger from Videoplasty and welcome to this tutorial video where I'm gonna show you how you can create a professionally looking animated video or explainer video, however you wanna call it, uh, using a software, a free software for Macs uh, that is called iMovie. And uh, if you're a Windows user, I'm sorry, I don't think it's available for Windows, so I suggest you make the switch because uh, it's just gonna be 10 times better. But anyway, Without further ado, let's just have a quick look at the video we're going to recreate today. You're going to be able to make a very similar video to this um, immediately after watching the video. It's that simple. And uh, the cool thing about this tutorial is that you don't need any previous animation experience or graphic design skills. Uh, I'm going to show you a really cool trick that you can use and not many people know about it. So uh, let's, jump, let's jump straight into it. So, you're sick and tired of the same routine. Same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. With us, it's all really simple. It doesn't matter if you want to go to an exotic island, go camping, sail around the sea, or go from place to place on a world tour. We got you covered. Don't forget your camera, because once you're on that airplane traveling halfway across the world, you'll want to take a picture of the clouds from your window seat. The view from 10,000 feet is amazing. Or take a selfie when you get there and post it on social media. Or really, just sit on the beach, enjoying the sun and relaxing. That's why you're there, aren't you? So give us a call at 1234-5678 and book your dream holiday today. All right, I think that looks pretty, pretty amazing. And I know what you're thinking right now, like how on earth am I going to be able to make such a cool video? But trust me, it's super easy actually. And you'll see, you'll see in a couple of minutes. Uh, as I said, you're not going to, you don't need any experience. All you need is some like really basic video editing skills in iMovie. And uh, the way we're going to recreate this today is by using something called stock animation. And if you don't know what stock animation is, it's basically a, like stock footage or stock photos, but for animation. So it's basically like a library of pre-animated uh, videos that are ready to use. All you have to do is like buy the license for them, you download them, import them into your project. And uh, you, all you have to do is like drag and drop them on the timeline. And that's it. So let's have a quick look at how we can do that today. So I'm here in iMovie and I'm going to create a new project. And uh, I have to import my stock animation. And of course, for this tutorial, I already got my stock animation ready here. I'm just going to drag and drop it and um, click import. And the first thing when you make any sort of video animation is you want to start with a script because you want to know where you're going with it. Uh, but that's a topic for like a whole different video. And once you have a script, normally you want to get a voiceover as well. And we already have that here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this onto the timeline here. Here, I think. Yeah. Because uh, the way you want to do it is you want to you want to follow the voiceover and time each animation to the voiceover. So so it makes sense. All right. So uh, let's see what the voiceover says here. The first line. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really. All right. So the first line is you're sick and tired of the same routine. So um, what we're going to do is I think uh, this is the one that I use. All right. So here's how stock animation looks like. It's basically this one. This clip is called tired, like men, tired, tired men drinking coffee, I think, or something like that. And uh, it comes with a transparent background and all you have to do is you drag and drop it here on the timeline, you know, make this whole thing smaller so it fits the voiceover. And um, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Oh, before we do that, let's just use a background color as well. So uh, I think in our case, let's try. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how this one looks like. And uh, we're going to want to put this one on top, actually. Yeah. No, I don't like it. So let's delete it. Oops. I think I deleted the animation as well. Anyway, I'm going to use blue. I think uh, this one is going to look much better. 
and uh, I want to make this as long as the voiceover basically so all the way till there yep all right all right let's go back to my media and uh, do this again so put this on top and um, something really important that you want or you always want to focus on is the waveform of the voiceover here on the bottom because this is the first line so you're sick and tired of the same routine and it ends here so you want to use this clip animation all the way till here and then from this point on you want to use another one so let's see what the voiceover says same routine same job you don't really like that much all right so the next uh, you know big part here in the waveform uh it's called it says the next job you don't the the same job you don't really like that much basically so for that one i think i've used uh this one with a guy sleeping at his desk while working so again i'm just going to drag this here align it to the previous one and uh it ends here like as i showed you earlier in the waveform and uh basically you just repeat this until you fill up the whole timeline with animations all right, let's <clears throat> check out the next line. Boring stuff. Hey. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff? And all right, so we have two lines here that I use. The first one here is, uh, but then it hits you. Uh, what if you take a break from all that boring stuff? And for this one, I had a mix between uh, the person thinking. Let me see. It's, uh, yeah, this one. The person thinking. And I used this one really, really short, like just a couple of seconds. Actually, we can zoom in a bit to to see it even better. I think, right? Yeah. But then it hits you. What if, um, and I think it's this one where he gets an idea. Yeah. What if you go on an adventure? And uh, to be honest, uh, you know, there, there's no exact science to this. It's just like a guideline. You have to play it back from the beginning and see how it looks, see how it feels. And uh, basically adjust the timings along the way. So we're going to do exactly that. I think we already have like, what, first eight seconds of the video. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really like that much, but then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff? All right, what if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Uh, we used, uh, yeah, this one. Put this one here. From all that boring stuff and go on an adventure. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why this one is a bit zoomed in, so let's just go to fit. works now looks good and let me see i think the first one was a bit zoomed in too oh this one yeah so the way you um, do it is you click it go to this one right here and uh, just say fit not crop to fill all right and if you go back there you go it's the exact same size as the others break from all that boring stuff and go boring stuff and go on an adventure and go on an adventure and the next line is um, like pack your stuff right now and leave or something like that so so far we used the uh, stock animation with transparent backgrounds as we can see the background is now blue but for the next scene i just used this one which is like a full screen scene of someone packing like a top view scene all right and uh, the way you align it perfectly you make sure this uh, yellow line appears but you don't you don't want to push it you just want to like do this uh, let's see like pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible all right here's another gap in the voiceover which means we're starting a new sentence uh, and uh, let's see what do we say next welcome to your dream trips.com all right so welcome to your dream trips.com and um this part right here in the video let me show you real quick 
Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. All right, so as you can see in the video, we have a logo and the text. However, the, the way iMovie works, unfortunately, we cannot do that because we can do this like at the van, which would be like the logo. Or, I mean, we actually can, but it's just going to be a bit complicated and not exactly what you want, which is pretty much where iMovie gets a bit frustrating because, you know, it's, it's an amazing piece of software and it's free, but it has certain limitations. So you're going to have to work around that. Uh, so let's just try and see how it looks. Let's just, uh, you know, drag and drop this text right here. And you can actually put it here. And let's say your dream trips. However, there's no way for you to, to move the text, uh, unfortunately. You can, only, you can only move the van, which uh, in this case we consider the van to be like the, the logo. So in that case, we're going to... Let me see, how do you move the van actually? Oh, you do this. You go to this one on the left and you select picture in picture. And uh, there you go. Select the van again. Oops, and uh, just put it here. I mean, it's not the most ideal solution, but um, it works pretty well. In this case, the van, uh, you know, doesn't look very well. Doesn't look very good against the blue, the black, uh, the blue background. Sorry. So uh, I guess just for the sake of this tutorial, we can just change it slightly and use. Uh, I don't know what else should we let's just use the island. I mean we we use it further down the the road in the tutorial, but uh, in this case, let's just try it again. Yourdreamtrips.com and uh, again go here on the thing on the left, select picture in picture, and now you're gonna be able to move it. So we're gonna line it centrally and uh, gonna make it a bit bigger. There you go. Uh, oh yeah, I think we have a typo in your dream trips dot com. All right. I mean, <clears throat> it's a bit frustrating because you cannot move the text. Um, you know, you can play around with like the fonts and stuff, uh, make it bold, whatever. Oops, that doesn't look good now. Anyway, it's just a matter of playing around with it, basically. Uh, let's just not make it bold. All right. Yeah, should be fine now. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com Yeah, I think that gets a bit too big. So let's see how we can make it smaller. Uh, anyway, just you have to play around with it. Um, just leave it like this, Your Dream Trips. So uh, let's watch this whole thing again. And well, no, actually, one thing that's missing uh, is we need we need some music for this. So uh, we're gonna have to add some music. I think I have uh, some music here. Yeah, I'm just gonna drag and drop this here. Uh, you you want to do it as a different uh, layer, of course, in uh, in iMovie, and you also want the volume to be much lower. So let's just say you're going to have the music around like 30%. It's usually fine. Uh, to be honest, you just have to play around with it. Uh, see see if it sounds good. See if you can hear the voiceover, basically. So let's see. We have uh, 21 seconds of the video. Uh, actually, I think it's all the way till here. Or I don't know. Anyway, let's watch it from the beginning and see how it feels now. Oops. I think the music might be a bit too loud. So, you're sick and tired of the same routine. Same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. Alright, the music is probably not the best choice uh, <laughs> ever, but uh, it works even in this case. I think that looks pretty, pretty amazing. We have the first 20 seconds of the video done. If we zoom out a bit here, uh, obviously the video, the voiceover is a bit longer, up to one minute. But I don't want to drag this tutorial on forever because I think I pretty much covered everything you need to keep going and keep doing this on your own. 
Uh, it's super super simple as you can see you just select the stock animation clips that you need and you drag and drop them on the timeline and uh, make sure you align the timing with the voiceover so the audio message makes sense with what you're showing visually as well again unfortunately iMovie is a bit limited but you can still play around with it and make something really really nice and it's going to be good enough uh, of course, if you want to do this professionally and like sell it to clients, I suggest, uh, you know, at, at some point down the road, maybe upgrade to like a better video editor. But, uh, you know, just to get started, iMovie is perfect. And, uh, you know, it, the best part of it, it's uh, that it's free. All right. So the next big question now is where can you get stock animation? And uh, there are several places where you can do this online. Uh, but unfortunately, in my experience, uh, was that uh, most big stock footage sites out there yeah, they do have some stock animation, but it's uh, from different vendors and uh, they have different styles and different levels of quality. Most of them are quite low quality, to be honest, and uh, I wouldn't use myself, which is the reason why I started a website called Videoplasty.com. So full disclosure, I own Videoplasty and um, I suggest you have a look and if you're interested in stock animation, have a look and see if you find anything that you like. The reason why I started Videoplasty is how, like what I said earlier. I couldn't find a place that sold exclusively just stock animation and you know that has similar style and it's very consistent in styles like for the for the graphic design and for the animation so you can buy different packs we have like character animations like animated icons and stuff like that and just uh, you know mix and match and see what see what exactly what you need for your project and they all look very similar that's the thing they work together which uh, wasn't the case with other with other vendors out there, unfortunately. So uh, have a look, see if you like anything, and uh, I would be really excited if uh, you would send me some videos that you create using the stock animation from Video Plasty. All right, so this was Edward Stunga. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you soon.